but we're gonna um, we're gonna pass our C drive clone it to another hard drive that I bought another NVMe SSD and pass the uh, Windows into that hard drive so that we can have SteamOS on our main hard drive and what you need is this, this genius that's what you need and you need to install it in the same uh, hard drive as the Windows see it tells you right here because it copies everything from that windows with this genius into the new hard drive this is our new hard drive and we're gonna pass this Seagate uh, Fire Cuda not l the actual hard drive is the software inside the hard drive and you go here OS migration and you select uh, Samson not the other one because that one is the one that she uses for recording you know our gameplay and stuff like that which is another SSD but a SATA SSD we don't need it to be that fast this is a new uh, SSD which is an uh, NVMe M.2 you know and uh, we're gonna pass it over here start it okay hot migration and let it finish uh what you want to do hit yes and be ready for um the pc to start up and you press delete because you want to go into the bios and make sure that the hard drive is uh selected okay and we go in and you go to boot See, that's where the windows used to be okay I wanted to show you that and you got to go in here and now in the first uh, option the boot option number one now you want to select a Samsung well in my case it's a Samsung that's where the the new windows is this is where the old windows is it's the same windows but you know what I mean it's it migrated into this one they both work but I want to delete this one so I go into this one it's, it should be already selected uh, yes it is it's already selected and you gotta make sure also that your secure boot is disabled see so we're going to go into that hard drive now with this genius is it actually does it better and it shows you the name of the you know so you come in here and you completely delete all the partitions everything so that you know there's nothing windows in it and then you save it okay now it's done you can see it ready uh, what you want to do is restart your PC now put your SteamOS uh, USB and now you see the USB here that's where the SteamOS is so you select it there is a way to tell it exactly where you can install and you can search it up on YouTube I, I'm gonna put a description and the description a link to the, uh, that video uh, where this a dude that has you know it explains how to do that to tell it exactly he's not that great of explaining and I mean I'm not great myself I'm terrible at this you know I I just know how to build PCs and but I don't know how to teach 
Uh, but, you know, he, he does explain it, and you, you will get it done. You know, there is a solution. So you let SteamOS do this. Now, what you want to do is install it by wiping out the hard drive. Hit proceed. And at the end, hit proceed again and wait for the motherboard to give you that moment so that you can press delete and get inside and change the boot order. All right, we're in. The priority needs to be SteamOS. Now SteamOS is prioritized. And all you have to do is change the boot order and make sure it's SteamOS. Save it and restart and you're done. I'm done with Windows. The only reason I'm, I, I have uh, Windows and I, I'm still going to have Windows on, you know, do a boot on RPCs. One, we pay for it. I'm going to get the most out of it. And two, we have programs like, you know, Native Instrument. I have the entire library of Native Instrument for my music. And you know how expensive that is. I'm not going to throw it away. So I'm, I'll be using Windows for a while just for that. But I am done with Windows. Then I come here and select the um, Eastern. It is wire, yes. Uh, at the moment, it's just installing updates, and uh, it's pretty quick. You know, it's like that the installation of SteamOS is so easy. And whenever something goes wrong, you can hit repair, and you know those shortcuts on the top, repair, and it won't delete none of your personal files, you know, on your desktop or pictures and stuff like that. It won't delete them. All right, and now we're here, and you're not going to see this part because, you know, you don't, you don't need to know my or her user and password. So I'll see you in the next one. And uh, you hit enter a few times. I mean, if you want to look at what it's saying or whatever, you know, go ahead. I already know what, is, what it says. And... And this is uh, her Steam, you know, her Steam account. And you can go into desktop here. It doesn't have the settings yet, not even the resolution that it's supposed to have, but, you know, I just opened it up and I got to go in later and change the wallpaper. If you, if you put a new wallpaper, make sure that you put the new wallpaper inside pictures. And the way how you search for, um, let's say, Brave, which is the browser we use. You just search it through the here. It's like it's much better than Windows. You know how Windows you gotta click and then go into a website and you know download and install it and everything is in here. And um, what is this called? Uh, discover everything. So that's how you install it. You know, I'm gonna launch it and you see it's, it's there. I'm not gonna go through all those things right now. And let's say, for example, there's a lot of people that play Roblox, right? You go and install Sober. That's how you play Roblox in here, okay? And it's much better than Roblox on Windows. Trust me. It's, it's mind-blowing. It performs much better. Once it's installed, you launch it. Then you hit Continue. I'm not going to need this uh, allow control access, whatever. If you have a Steam Deck, of course, because you, you play your Roblox like that, but I, I don't do that. It's going to try to find a controller, and it's going to go retarded because I don't have any controllers. You know, we don't use controllers. Uh, so uncheck that if you have a PC with no controller enable, and uh, hit continue. 
it's gonna install Roblox it's gonna update every time there's an update is you know you're gonna see it and when you go in uh, let's say um, I'm not very familiar with uh, Roblox I do play it with my daughter I've played it a lot but she's the she's the one that takes everything takes care of everything for me like she tells me oh go here go here and do this and do that you know I, I don't play Roblox she does a lot she's a master at this thing uh, I go here and uh, make, to make sure that you have my you know the quality maxed out and I just went into uh, Bloxburg um, go to settings and then yeah I always like this I'll show you what that is and look at this you can select it like you know 100 240 144 I'm gonna put 144 as maximum because this monitor is 144 uh, uh, refresh uh, rate <clears throat> refresh rate you know so you go here let me slow down because I know that the mouse is very sensitive in this game and you go to graphical here and put a manual and just crank it up and then hit resume and that's it and that this setting right here where is settings okay this right here automatic no where was that ah over here shift lock it's like you know how the mouse is free and you have to right click it in order to be able to look around uh, I just go shift and it's it turns into an FPS you know you can you can see your crosshair there look at the performance on this thing you know getting a hundred and forty you know, like maxed out it, I remember my browser stuttering and it's not as smooth and as silky as it is in, in, in this game I mean in, in, in Linux SteamOS so download sober, sober if you play Roblox it's much better than Windows and okay let's get out and later on I'll keep installing stuff and whatnot but I want to show you something now that let's assume that you install Windows on your older hard drive right you don't need a boot manager you don't need none of that okay just make sure that you what button in your motherboard brings up a boot manager like a manual boot manager that you can you know select from uh, that list you know and let's 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 shut it down let's restart it for her and me it's f11 and when you see that menu showing up I'm just gonna keep pressing but it it doesn't happen that fast it's like Hey, when, when you see that little menu that it, you can either press delete or F1 or I mean F11 or whatever uh, here's where you select your, your OS I rather have it like this see Steam OS or Windows this is where it is Let, let's go into Windows and that's it we're back in Windows. There you go. Everything is here. Exactly how it was. Now, the only thing is that the hour might might change doing this, but who gives a damn about what Windows think is the right time or not? I mean, I just use it for very specific things like, you know, um, editing my videos and stuff like that. So I don't really give a damn if window, Windows lost the... the the time or, or, or it's giving you the wrong time or whatever you can you can select to um, you know synchronize <clears throat> you can synchronize it and uh, it'll fix it immediately it's not a big problem you know I'm sick of Windows I'm done so what you're seeing us play all those games that you're seeing us play is is on SteamOS you know I just wanted to show you I, I wanted to go through this to show you how it's installed Maybe to get your attention and and and, to, and tell you that there is a, an alternative out there for gaming, and even for people that don't know no. about Linux like me, uh, there is an alternative that is very easy. You don't need anything else. All you need is SteamOS, and you know what better than uh, using Steam? And now you don't have to worry about the boot. You know, going into SteamOS, it's already at default as the main drive. 
If you want to go into uh, Windows, then you have to press F11. Here, no, you don't. Here, it'll do all these things and then go into the regular boot and you'll see SteamOS pretty soon. And we're back in Steam. See? It's that simple. If you want to play games here, you can do it here. You only go to the desktop if you got to do stuff, you know, like because the, the beautiful thing about this setup, let me let me let me set it up. Okay. You go in here and, and display, and you tell it, I'm gonna put the resolution I want, which is the resolution of my monitor, with the refresh rate of my monitor. And then you keep that setting. I mean, it says 143, but it is 144. Don't worry about it. This is, leave it how it is. It does that. Uh, then you go to maximum gain resolution. And you select the 4K maximum. Okay, you know what that does? Now, when you play games, she has nothing installed. But when you play games in here, not the desktop mode, okay? Now it gives you the option for, like, let's say, old games that don't have um, anti-lacing, and you can't, the, 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 you know, you, you, you can play with your resolution, but the, the edges are a little jagged, and you're like, oh my god, how can I force that? You know, I can't, you know, I'm, I'm on this view, like a gaming mode. Well, that resolution allows you to go 4K in those old games, on your resolution and they look smooth and perform better than having anti-lacing. It's like forcing 4K on your resolution, 1440. And it is 4K. Uh, it's, it's amazing, you know. So if you want to play games like that and you have an old game that you, you don't know how to force it to look better or, or, or go into the config or whatever, uh, just go here and, and do it yourself, you know, um, uh, by, you know, selecting this put in the 4K over here, and then it gives you the option. It will give you the option for, um, you know, when you go inside the game, when you drop down the the list of resolutions, it will be there, 4K, and that's it. You know, it's, so it's great. And I hope this helps you out. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I'm not the best at doing this stuff. I'm very, I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know how to explain professionally these things, and... I hope it helps you out. I hope I was clear enough. So...